Would you rather eat a cat or f a duck? Well, we started this off, right? If that question is anything to go by, then this whole entire video is going to be interesting. <laughs> we did it. We did it! We had 100 subscribers! Yay! Some of you guys out there would be thinking, what's 100 subscribers? I mean, PewDiePie's got like 51 million. I mean, 100? <laughs> Probably gets that in two minutes. Thanks for squashing my achievement there. A round of applause for you. 100 subscribers is incredible, considering that this channel has pretty much only been around for about probably two months now, which is awesome, and I've only got like eight videos, including this one. A huge thank you to every single person who supported me, who loved the videos, who liked commenting. So I thought I would go out and kind of celebrate the 100 subscribers. I couldn't do a fancy fireworks display. Maybe a little explosion in my hand. Q graphic. Any, any time today. That was terrible. So today I decided to do a Q&A session. All right, so I've been asking on my Twitter to ask me the questions of what you want to know. Here are some that you have asked. Would you rather eat a cat or f a duck? Probably the duck. Oh yeah, fit. What's with the Twitter name? I fucking love it. About that. <laughs> Yodel. Why did I start doing YouTube? I've always been an entertainer and I've always kind of done that type of stuff, really. Kind of made videos in my bedroom. Always had the, the love of making people smile and laugh. From the age of 13, I sang solo in front of the Queen. I'm not talking about this kind of Queen either. What other hobbies do I do? For some of you guys who know me already, I'm the lead singer of a band called Wait For Hollywood, which is a pop punk band. We're very similar to All Time Low. You meet Six, Newfound Glory, kind of neck deep as well. This is what we're like. So take me home. Go follow our social media, it's all in the bio below. We're on tour later on next year as well. Releasing a new release, which I'm so stoked about. Can I believe it? Ah! So stoked that even the download dog is interested. No, not, no. Thanks for that. What do I expect from YouTube? Um, or what you're gonna see more on, on my vlogs. I'm actually gonna do an intro video because I realized the other day I haven't actually done one. More skits, there's gonna be videos like this. Comedy little bits, kind of completely random stuff that's in the back of my mind. That kind of skit type of stuff, and really just random stuff that will hopefully make you smile and laugh and giggle and wet yourself. Where in England do I live? How do you know I live in England? Your accent gives it away, Dan. Really? What, what if I change my accent? Then they'll still know that you're in England, you idiot. Oh yeah. But, but what if I pretend I live somewhere else so they don't find me? You're an idiot. I know. That's what my mum said. I actually live in a place called Stoke-on-Trent. A lot of people have come from this area, including Slash, Lemmy from Motorhead, even Robbie Williams. It's pretty much in the middle of nowhere. If you have a look on Google Maps, you can see whereabouts it is in the UK. When we zoom out, all you can see is just trees and... trees and... What the... What the hell is that? If only we knew! <laughs> if only we knew! Who's my favourite YouTuber? Whoa, oh, now this is a hard one. I mean, you've got PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, Kick the PJ, Luke is Not Sexy, Dan and Phil, Markiplier, Alfie, Zoella, Marcus Butler, Charles Trippy from CTFXC. If you guys watch vlogs, I've been fortunate enough to meet that guy. Absolute legend. You people are screaming out. Who are your favourite YouTubers? Write down in the comments below. I'd love to check out if there might be some people in there that I don't know. Have you, or would you meet any of your fans? Do you have a favourite fan? I have actually met a, a, quite a lot of fans, especially with the band. In regards to YouTube, I wouldn't say I've got fans. I mean, I'd love to meet you guys. Like I said, I'd love to do a meet up and just meet you guys. Not just for my benefit, but for your benefit as well. So you get to mingle, interact, and be one and merry with each other. In in a safe way. Brain protection. 
A weapon. Don't bring a weapon. <gasps> mermaids or unicorns? Well, with the mermaid looking like this, or would it be? Actually, mm, I use the emoji of the unicorn a lot whenever I'm messaging people, or if I'm on Twitter. Probably, probably unicorn, because a siren, otherwise mermaid, pretty much kill people. They kill men. If Pirates of the Caribbean is anything to go by, unicorns. Because if I'm having this, no chance. Do I watch Jacksepticeye and Marky Player? Yes, I do. <laughs> I watch both of them, and it's really hard. I mean, hmm, I'd probably say Jacksepticeye. Shut up, please don't hurt me. Please don't send me bad threats in the mail. What's my favorite song right now? What? <laughs> Guilty pleasure. At the moment, I'm listening to a lot of Nick Deep. Sleeping with Sirens, they're cool as well. Oh, jeez. This is the one that's going to split everybody. Zalfi or Dan and Phil. Uh, they're both British, so I can't really go for that avenue. Um, I don't know. Dan and Phil are along my kind of sense of humour. Uh, but yeah, at the same time, um, Zoella and Alfie. They're, they're freaking cool people, right? And, um, I don't know, personally, uh, which one do I choose? Danafil. Danafil. Please don't hurt me. Danafil? What would I do if I woke up and somebody shaved my head? Probably nothing. Probably just deal with it. Maybe get some glue, stick it back on my head, maybe. Or just go around looking like a thumb. Am I a cat or a dog person? Uh, dog person, all the way. I've watched dogs, I've watched. Hell oh, yeah, look at that dog over there. F you cats. What is going on? Inter apples. Interrupting tongue or screaming nipples. Uh, Probably screaming nipples because I can just wear several different jackets on top of myself, on top of myself, or just wear them to hide the the sheer screams of terror coming from my nips. <laughs> when it starts to rain in the morning and I'm just waking up, what is the first thought in my head? Mine is yes. I'm pretty much used to it because I mean I live in the UK. I live in Britain. Right now, it's been frosty. Looked out the window and I thought Elsa had started again. I'm trying to build a snowman, but it's not snow. It's just frost. Can't really do anything with frost. It definitely helps me write lyrics. And which is weird because the band is very upbeat and happy. And uh, obviously when it's raining outside, no one's really happy and upbeat, but it's very relaxing. So kind of opens your mind out a little bit. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that. Probably delete this out. I left it in. What's my favourite childhood memory? Come on, there, Daniel. It's gonna be fun. That's, That's my that might have big, mommy. I, I, mommy, I, I don't think it's supposed to go there, mommy. Mommy? Mommy! Not that one again. Get out of my mind. My favourite childhood memory probably was when I took the dog for a walk and no one knew about it. At the age of five, in fact, I might have been younger than then, I had a small dog called Teal, which was like a chocolate Labrador. There's two guys over the other side of the road having a conversation about plants or whatever old people talk about. I think actually before this, this was near Christmas, we were eating biscuits underneath the tree. We had like just an old fashioned tub of biscuits and we decided to eat them all. I managed to open up the door Put the lead on the dog, take the dog for a walk, then lost it. Legitimately lost the dog. Um, and I think we finally found him. I'm not sure where he was. Do I watch Pokemon? What is my favourite? Right now, no, I don't watch Pokemon, but I do play Pokemon Go still, even though the hype's gone down. When I was younger, probably Ditto because it was kick ass. I could copy absolutely anything. It has no originality, really. Ditto is just a lazy Pokemon wanting to be everyone else. I suppose that's pretty much the majority of the content on YouTube, so it's very relatable to, <laughs> to this date. Would you rather never eat your favourite food again or only eat your favourite food for the rest of your life? That's surely would be the, the last one, right? Because if it's my favorite food and I never eat it, that ain't gonna be good, because what the hell do I eat? I'll, I'll be deliberately punishing myself. My favorite food would probably be sushi. I can hear the groans of people going, oh, 
Why sushi, mate? Out of all the things you could have, you choose sushi. Why do you go for sushi, mate? Well, it's, um, it's very nutritious, it's very filling, and fresh. Not if it's a couple of days old, mate. Like, what are you doing? I didn't really think about it. I just, I just, I, I just like fish. I like fish. Got a question here, because I can't remember them, because there's so many of them. What's my favourite thing about Christmas? A B C D E A B E E B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B that on Twitter. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button for new content. Hit the like button to show your appreciation and just to see if, if you like this content. All the questions that you guys asked and I answered, write the answers below. It'd be awesome to, to listen to you guys. I'd love to build a community out of YouTube of uh, just like-minded people that kind of like the weird sh that I do. Comments always help with that because I get to speak to you guys if I don't get to reply to a tweet. If you use the comments below then I'll be able to reply back to you guys and I'll be able to speak to you all and as well as you guys can meet other people as well in the comments. A huge thank you to every one of you guys for subscribing, for helping spread the word. We hit 100, which was the first milestone, or pretty much the second one. The first one was 50, which we've completely smashed it. I will see you in the next video, Dench Ray. Bye! Here you are, John. I've brought you a Pope keyring. Uh... For all those Christians out there, quick fun fact, did you know that the McDonald's arches are more recognised worldwide than the cross? For the sailor in your life, how to avoid ships, second edition.